Two of my favorite products to create cards with are 3D embossing folders and stencils. And in this video, I am combining those two to make gorgeous cards to share with you. Hello and welcome to Karen's Creative Cards on YouTube. I am Karen Hashik, and I recently had a play session with new 3D embossing folders and decided to mix in my stencils. I love the results. I made my first two cards with this new bark embossing folder from Stamping Up. Um, when I, as you can see, I embossed the cream background on this card and then I stenciled over it with a stencil called Barley from Cut Plurations and the texture from the embossing folders makes for a really lovely, somewhat masculine, clean and simple card. I moved the stencil after I did it the first time over just a little bit and did a shadow with a little bit lighter ink and I love how that card turned out. Um, 3D embossing folders are even more gorgeous when you use mirror card like this brass mirror card on this card. The flowers were made with a layering stencil from Gina K Designs and the hello is also from that same bundle. Now of course all the details on all of these cards including products and links and everything are in the description box and there's links in the description box also to my blog posts with more details on each of these cards. I usually pick a favorite among the sample cards I make and then I for the videos and I show how to make it completely. But I loved both of these cards so much I couldn't pick a favorite. So I'm going to show you how I made both of them or at least the fronts of both of them. Um, the first card is another 3D, a new 3D embossing folder from Stamping Up and I'm going to show you how I got this effect on that card. And then um, I'm also going to show you step by step how I made this card. Um, you can see I'm, I just love how both of these cards turned out so I'm going to share both of them with you. This is the new, another new uh, 3D embossing folder I got from Stamping Up and it's called Painted Texture and it is really really pretty also on mirror card and I did it on that and then I also um, did it uh, embossed it on a piece of thick cream um, cardstock and I'll show you a close-up and then I'll show you this paper hugs is a new stamp a die I got from Simon Says Stamps and I raised this piece a piece of this gold across there I'm going to show you how I got that background um, and uh, a really cool card combining stencils and embossing folders so again I've, I've embossed a uh, piece of thick cream cardstock one thing I like about this embossing folder it's really cool on both sides and there isn't really a debossed or embossed side but I'm going to I've chosen to use this one I am using the this 6x6 designer masking stencil from tailored expressions and um, one thing I really like about these uh, masking stencils from tailored expressions is that she has put um, a a guide around the side both for if you're making an A2 card or else or and the A2 the first layer that you would put on an A2 card so this is four by five and a quarter and I can line that up perfectly so this is going to be um, right centered exactly where I want it which is um, very a very nice feature of these masking stencils. I use a um, very light easily removable uh, tape from a Scotch um, brand to do that and you can just either I'm going to tape it from the back but and I'm going to use those lines to line it up and in this case I want the second line all the way around and I'm going to tape 
the stencil in place and because it's a very easily removable tape um, it won't tear the cardstock and that is now um, <laughs> I did that wrong. Okay. Yeah, no, I did that wrong, didn't I? I'm supposed to tape it. Uh, so I'll fix it. I'll fix it. I needed to have the the rectangles and the boxes on the front and then tape it from the back. That would make more sense, right? Because I want to mask off the uh, openings. So again, I'm used to using those lines. And now um, there are also the negative pieces from the stencil and I want to cover up the areas that I don't want. I'm going to start with my blue Distress Ink. And I'm going to use my Tailored Expressions, Expressions Blending Brushes. So I want the blue, so I want to mask off the areas that are going to be the other color. And tape those in place. And so I'm going to brush on some colors. In this case, it's the Distress Ink Faded Jeans. And what's cool about this is because it's embossed, the areas that are uh, have the wrinkles, if you would say that, of the embossing folder are going to catch more ink. And I just think that's a really cool look. up a little bit. And now I am going to mask those. So you can see how these masking stencils from Tailored Expressions are so easy to work with but make a very cool looking card front. I'm going to use Rusty Hinge Distress Ink on the other two boxes. And again, the, the embossing folder um, has created this really cool, i got to keep those in place better, but we get another piece of tape. embossed, raised, and lowered. It's 3D, so it's a, a very cool look. And adding the ink really accents that. Oh. <laughs> and then I forgot the top one. Sure. So I have completed that part of the uh, card front. 
um, and I will add that gold strip across there and add another paper hugs or another sentiment and you can see um, how using the stencil with the embossing folders especially these 3d embossing folders are um, create a really cool look now each of the 3d embossing folders have a different thickness and you um, really will have to experiment with whatever um, machine that you have. Um, I have an electronic die cutting machine which is the Gemini from Sizzix and um, one uh, nice feature is um, these 3D ones are very thick and um, you can experiment and if you have too thick of a sandwich it won't even take it. Um, and this one here from Simon Says is maybe one of the thickest that I have. Um, and the last one that I showed you um, I would use one glass and the precision plate but only one glass not two which is typical. And I even needed a shim to get it to really to emboss uh, nicely. But this uh, 3D uh, embossing folder is so thick that I only use one glass. Um, at least I did with this card. And it is from Simon Says, Says Stamp and it's called uh, Embossing uh, the Magnolia Branches. Um, I make a note after I experiment and I tell myself the next time I pick it up, oh yeah, that's right, I didn't use the adapter plate and I only use one glass with this. So that's a little tip to um, use. So, um, again, this is one of my favorites of the cards that I made, and I used that Magnolia Branch embossing folder, and I again used a uh, layering masking stencil from Tailored Expressions that I'm going to show you. And then um, I love to do embossing throughout the whole card. So even on the back, it has that beautiful debossed look, and then on this part here is debossed and this part is embossed and then I cut a heart hole out of the centerpiece and <clears throat> I'm going to show you how I achieved that look as well. So that piece is ready to go. Um, this Thinking of You is a Sue Wilson um, die that's one of my favorites and I just used a heart die um, to cut that hole out of both um, pieces that's going to go on the inside. Now I'm not going to show you um, how to emboss and embossing folders but in essence if you've never done it um, you have uh, something like this and all you're going to do is put the cardstock piece inside and run it through your um, your die cutting machine. Um, again, experiment with sandwiches. Um, these thick ones are very different than the traditional older ones. So um, I have this card, uh, and it's a thicker card base, um, ready to go. And then I have um, another one of these Tailored Expressions designer masking stencils. And um, this set is very cool. It has a rectangle and once again it has those lines that I showed you um, that makes it very easy to line up perfectly on the front of an A2 card. And it also has a second option which is again um, another rectangle. Um, this time it's a bigger one with those lines. So um, I highly recommend these. I tried to cut my own but you just these are just perfect. Um, so we're going to line this card front up with those lines on the stencil to make it stay in place perfectly. And I am going to use some pink and yellow and green inks. I have my uh, some more of my blender brushes. And then I'm going to use my new Bitty blender brushes from Tailored Expressions. Um, I like that they have the smaller ones now. Um, I was able to decide what colors I was going to um, put labels on and I have a pink and then this one is labeled for the yellow um, and this one's still virginal so I will um, use that for another color. 
So I am going to start with the yellow center and just get a little ink on there. And because they are small, they're easy to direct exactly where you want it to go. And then I'm going to take some pretty pink ink and carefully get the rest of the flowers. I think I'll go back with the yellow. In the center of that one. And then I'm just going to use, I just happen to really like this color, this green color at the end of this Hero Arts Reactive Ink. Um, kind of mixes the two colors. And Add some green ink around, and again the, the ink catches those embossed areas and they become darker, but in this case I kind of want the rest of it all to be green, especially around the edges. So we have a really pretty rectangle in the center of that white embossed card and it now has the colors just there and I think that look is really really neat. I just love how that turned out. Then on the inside I had this idea that I wanted to um, have a little more um, embossed color. So I put this piece in there and I marked the edges of that heart and I also marked along here I just want to make sure I don't go too far over and I'm just going to add some pink ink right in that area going up and down too far is perfectly fine I just don't want to go over too far looks and then I'm gonna see if I can erase those uh, little lines I drew hopefully So isn't that a fun look to have that pink flower embossed and shining through that um, open heart. Put a little score tape on the back here. So our lovely thinking of you card with a heart where you can sign down here, totally embossed with that rectangle of gorgeous embossed color, is all done. 
I love how these cards turned out and hope they inspire you to try some of the ideas and products for yourself. Thanks for watching, sharing, and subscribing, and thanks too for helping me share the joy of creativity.